how to properly pack your box filter well I have a DIY box filter how to properly pack it with media and what is the implication of packing um, your media all right so I have outdoor systems right and I actually convert buckets cans uh, containers so as to make filter right um, each filter is uh, water is channeled to the filter using a power head right I do not allow my power head to sit on the floor of the pan because it tends to clog when you do that so therefore it is um, placed usually halfway now the fish will swim around the bottom and will actually stir the mess whatever is in it and it will actually become floating I call it now it will be suspended and whenever it is suspended um, the pump actually carries it to the box filter over a period of time the box filter needs uh, you know cleaning so how do I do that all right so I have just replaced one this is a box filter in which I have right and I'll be doing a, a video strictly on um, beneficial bacteria in a bit what it is and whether or not you can get beneficial beneficial bacteria um, from your um water column all right I, i'll be looking at that in a short bit okay so this is the mesh that is placed at the base of my you notice that the mesh is not totally washed right because some of this um gunk that is within the system well on the mesh right it contains beneficial bacteria and i do not want to get rid of all i just and by the way i tend to just rinse it with pipe water yeah pipe water not aquarium safe water aquarium safe water um the amount is ration right now because of all the systems i have um but you will later find out why it's not really important right now all right and this is the meter that came out of it right so i'm gonna actually wash it right now with some pipe water and then i'll go to the packing process so i am going to be washing the media yeah this is a part of the media right gravel and sponge i'm going to be washing the media as you can see there are several critters within the media and the media have a lot of waste in it right so i'm going to be washing it carefully and i'm going to be placing it back into the uh, filter box and you'll see what i do next as the media is washed as the media is washed with the running white water it is placed on top of the mesh so first i have the container emptied it wash it's washed right then i have the um the mesh placed at the base and the mesh is placed at the base so as not to allow um fine particles um from out of this um gravel so actually go down and clog the hole that um uh carries the water into the the pan itself right so the media is washed this is how i wash it all right no soap no brush no scrubbing just practically rinsing it off all right and this is done for the entire thing okay after washing the gravel i then um wash the sponge all right so you have the mesh at the base then you have the gravel then you have the sponge and again i do not use any soap any water that have any chemicals in it i just simply run it in the container right so it's there it's placed on top of the gravel right it's placed on top of the gravel all right so i do this for the second sponge and the sponge should actually cover the entire surface area of the container 
at the top, right? Yeah. Alright. And this is pipe worker, guys. And you'll understand the reason why. Um, in a few minutes. Now, this is how the system works. So, let's say that the oars here with the water represent the water coming from the pump, right? Now, what will happen is that it will be placed into this um, half inch um, PVC water pipe, right? A hose. The water will actually come through here. It will fall on the water will be strained by the sponge and um, eventually be strained again by the gravel and again it goes through the mesh right so it, it, it's like this going through how do I know that it needs cleaning I will see this section it's clogged now because it was in the dirt let me show you a better example I will see this section I will see this section of the of the of the filter box running a little bit slow or in some cases no water at all coming through so this is a the mechanism the hose is on the power head power head hose comes up goes in the container goes on the sponge through the gravel through the mesh and returns and it goes like this for the entire period right all right so as you know i just have two power heads right now the rest of systems are practically run on air right so this one in which i'm cleaning and this is the reason why i said that you so um understand the reason why i use pipe water right this will be left here for a while all right so practically stay for about a month or so until i am ready to change now i do not wash and, and change at the same time so as you need a right for me to change i'll just plug off and i'll just put on a clean one and i wash out another one and i place it um somewhere in the yard to stay until um, it's needed again, so it's not clean and all that at the same time. And you might be saying, "Well, what about the beneficial bacteria that might exist in the container?" All right, beneficial bacteria is at the side of the, the pond system. It is also on the pipings that are there, and periodically I replace water in the bucket so as to ensure that it is kept moist. So therefore, it will not be dried. For the entire month that it's there so i will just turn the hose i place some water in it and it will stay moist for a bit i'm not gonna allow the water to settle in it so as to allow the breeding of mosquitoes but what it will be moist thank you very much for stopping by guys i hope that something here resonate and um you actually learned something have a wonderful day guys